Happy New Year! I know it is a little bit late. I've been wanting to film this video since last year, but December was chaotic and January honestly hasn't slowed down yet. So here I am on the 12th of January, sitting here filming this video. I just got two to this to keep it company. Okay, so before we get into the whole New Year's resolutions and the whole bullet journal thing, another video that I wanted to film, but now it's a little bit too late to put out, is what I got for Christmas. So, here you go. So, let's get right into it. It's gonna be a really, really quick one. I'm gonna start with stocking fillers. I actually got two face masks. These are from my mom. I also got a body scrub. It's a cocoa scrub. I also got some nostalgia, so I got like a mummy monster. We've got chocolates, which I've eaten. Um, and apparently, me and my brother used to really like these when we were in England when we were little. They're called squashies. I don't remember them, so we're gonna have to see about those. My brother got us all socks from Korea. These are super cute. Okay, these were not actually a Christmas present, but I just wanted to show you because they are super, super cute. This is a dancing baby group, and I really love this one. It's from Fantastic Beats. It is the Niffler. They're the uh, Funko Pop pocket keychains. I really love these ones, and I can't wait for the Baby Yoda merch to drop because I am obsessed. It is the cutest thing ever. I just cannot. Anyway, I got a few presents from friends. I got a little candle from Linen & Co from Caroline. It smells really nice. It's strawberries and champagne, so that's really cute. She also gave me a Tarte lip gloss, which very much looks like my color. I got a little keychain thing from Z, personalized with my name. I really like this because it's got the wee bear bear thing as well. She also gave me a card with it, which I love even more. It's super, super cute. It says, Dear Callista, thank you for being such a good friend to me. Thank you for always listening to me bitch about life. Always. I hope you will always stay happy, pretty and young, and I pray to God that you can eat everything you want without even gaining weight. Ha ha ha. She laughs, but she knows it's true. That's my one wish in life, because food is life, people. She even drew, okay, this is really funny to me. It's me with the red hair, Z, moves with his camera, and my brother Ollie, and we're all sitting there eating China food because it is amazing, and I just, mm. thank you for the card. I also got this from Reem. It's a Serenia and Chantel headband made in Borneo. I know they're handmade. I've seen them a lot. It's my very first one though. I love the color. Gotta figure out a hairstyle to wear it with, but thank you so much. What else? Oh, okay. I got this jewelry box from Yuan Thing for our secret center. It's really cool. So you can open it. Okay, there's a little mirror. You can hang your necklaces here. There's a little pouch. You can put your bracelets here, rings, earrings, or these compartments. There are two little compartments for watches. There are also two drawers. More compartments here. I think I can put everything in and my dressing table can stop being so messy. She also gave me this. It's supposed to be a necklace stand, but it's a little too short. So you can actually hang chokers and bracelets on it. From my brother, he gave me two lip products from Clay de Po. I hope I'm saying that right. The first is a lipstick, which is Peach Stone. Very, very cute. And the design is very cute as well. There's also a lip gloss. And I like this because it's called Rose Quartz. Oh, so I have one more present, uh, which is from Zhe. This Rose Quartz face roller. I really love these things. Like, they're so cooling and you can never have enough crystals so I think it's really cool oh and it also came with like this little dish thing which um I feel like I should know what it's for but I don't so so if you're watching let me know I also got this Anastasia brow with skinny brow pencil from Ollie it's in the color ebony because I like my brows to be dark hopefully Right color. I'm looking for a good brow pencil. I can't find one that I truly love yet. So the search is still on. Leggings 
from Uniqlo from my mom what I asked for because my leggings are kind of ratchet I also got my first pair of sneakers okay so I really like these but the problem is I don't really wear flat shoes because I wear heels all the time when I wear flat shoes my calves and my foot actually hurt so hopefully these will start to change that they are my Nike Air Force Ones they're the shadow Chinese New Year 2020 edition I love the colors it's got 2020 on the back there's like a very faint print on the purple side which is kind of like a Chinese New Year print and then of course it just says Air Force One my favorite present because it's just so cool is actually this I know what you're thinking it's just a mirror what? let me just show you how it works okay <clears throat> are you ready for this? okay Mao Ting Ling Kai Deng and then there's like three different types of lights so there's this and you can change to a blue light and a warmer light yeah okay kind of like siri i guess you just have to say I just asked what the weather is like in Kuala Lumpur and she can tell me. It's so cool, like Oh my gosh, I can't wait to start using this. Like I'm gonna put all my music in there. Okay, so it can actually check your skin condition of the day and suggest products that you should be using. It can save makeup looks. There's a whole bunch of things. All you gotta do is use the app. So I'm gonna go and figure out that right now, but let's get back to 2020, shall we? Uh, if you've got any questions about any of the presents or whatever, just drop me a comment and I'll let you know. I know the mirror was from this shop, this AI shop in Sunway Velocity which is on the outside where all the China restaurants are so they've got a lot of different AI stuff that you could probably check out there as well so, yeah. anyway, back to the new year okay so now that is out of the way I just want to say I'm really really grateful for everything that I got for Christmas last year but I am looking forward to the new year I don't know, 2020 has a really good vibe so far so I'm hoping that's gonna stay that way and initially I wanted this video to be all about New Year's resolutions but I found an old notebook of last year and let's just say I didn't really get through many of them so to motivate myself and hopefully motivate you I actually did my own bullet journal and I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do this because I am horrible at art and very very lazy but once I started, it actually helped me feel pretty good. So I wanted to show you mine and hopefully it can inspire you. I didn't even uh, go out to buy a notebook. This is the notebook that I got from work. It is the shock notebook. Hopefully you can see it. Hits is right there. Don't know why there's a durian. When you open it, it's very simple. It just says, hello, I'm Callista. There is a calendar for 2020 and also 2021 so I'm probably just gonna keep going on in this notebook next year as well because I don't want to waste paper, you know what I mean? I actually got inspiration for this from a lot of different YouTubers and some of them are things that I thought of by myself so you don't have to copy anything just a disclaimer, I'm in no way an artist so it ain't gonna be that pretty but I'm proud of it So the very first page is my word of the year which is self-care because I did not do any of that in 2019 and end up burning out pretty bad in December I got sick I was exhausted all the time so this year is basically just about self-care for me it's you need to calm down like having time for myself eating healthier getting enough sleep because I never do that stop comparing yourself to others everyone has their own pace and journey which I think is really important because sometimes I forget that especially in my company 
a lot of people have been doing this for many many years and they've been doing a lot of other things as well so I tend to compare myself to them I think I should realize that you know we're, we're on different levels we've been doing this different amounts of time just because they might be doing so much more doesn't mean I won't get there eventually I guess and then the next page is a manifestation page I really hope you can see this I haven't written anything yet because I really want to think about this properly before I write it down basically anything you want can be yours and then we go on to the 2020 goals and resolutions so basically what I have done is I put resolutions for the whole year and then I'm gonna break them down into months so hopefully that will help me a little bit along the way right now I've only got two I don't want to put too many unrealistic things in there because I think if you have unrealistic resolutions or goals it kind of deters you from actually doing more so I've got attend a course or workshop every quarter it could be anything from like cooking pottery dance I just want to like try new things and the other one is read one book a month because I used to read eight books a week yes I was that bookworm but since I started working I can't even think of the last book that I read I want to start getting back into that then I have, it's a new decade, take a look at that bucket list. These are the travel bucket list um, things that I've got down. Um, I'm also going to have experiences and other things that I want to do. I've been having fun with it. The next page is things I want. In the bracket I've written, you'll be grateful for this when Christmas comes around. So I was inspired by this because my family, we write Christmas lists to make it easier for people like each other to buy Christmas presents. Sometimes when you're busy in December and you don't really have time to think about anything you want, it's really tough for you and tough for people that are supposed to be buying you presents. And also we have like sneaky Santa going on every year so far. Lists are needed, you know what I mean? So basically the things that I've got here are things that I haven't gotten for Christmas in 2019. It is on my birthday list. As I get it, I'll just kind of like color off this box. And then the ones that haven't been colored by the end of the year, I will put on my Christmas list. And this doesn't mean like everything will be given to me like if I buy it for myself as well I'll just color it off. And I've also got things and places to check out. I've got six places here. These are six places from 2018. I never ticked a single one off so I kind of want to get at least a few in 2020 and then add some more. If you've got any suggestions let me know. The next page if you're not on YouTube or you're not doing like videos and stuff this might not relate to you but I've got a YouTube ideas page. So I feel like I always get a few good ideas and then um, run out of them. So I'm going to put them on here and hopefully this year I can upload more consistently. I also have a page called Brands I Want to Work With. There's no one here yet because I'm shy, but I will fill that in soon. And then this page was pretty interesting. Things I was grateful for in 2019. So yeah, um, 2019 was a pretty good year for me. Uh, I remember telling my manager actually that I only really cried once in 2019 and that was just because I couldn't go somewhere that I really wanted to go but honestly if that was the biggest problem I had last year I am so so grateful and then the next page is like highlights of 2020 so instead of trying to think back of what I'm grateful for I am going to write them as the year goes along this one is really fun my concert bucket list so as you guys know Taylor Swift always my number one and then I've just written Louis Capaldi because this is the first concert of the year that I will be going to I've been listening to his album on repeat it is so good go listen to it got my interview bucket list because last year I got to interview quite a lot of people especially like now Horan was definitely my highlight this year Taylor Swift number one and I've also written the first person of 2020 that I'm going to interview which is AJ Mitchell can't wait for that I'm going to Bangkok probably have come back by the time you see this video and Harry Styles because since I interviewed Niall I think it would be pretty cool if I got to interview another One Direction member and Harry is killing it boring nope finance stuff I've broken this down into quite a few categories first it's my big commitments. I just bought a place with my parents so that's right up top and then the next one I guess would be my insurance. Those are the two big commitments I have. I don't have that many. I've got a problem with commitment. The next page would be my savings. 
I've got a few different types of savings as well. One account I actually don't touch at all. It's kind of like my retirement or like future savings. I like I don't even look at it. I don't even know how much money I've got in there. Others are just saving for like different things, you know. That one like I can touch if I really need the money. And I've also got a page for expenses. So those can come up to quite a lot. My living costs with like rent and stuff, work stuff and some personal stuff then I've got a page called things to budget for in 2020 this page will probably be like if I want to buy something more expensive for instance then I'll have to save for it or if I've got trips that I'm going on which I do have some plan kind of like you know just yet but looking forward to that that I will have to save for the next page is the future is bright these are the things that we have to budget for this could be like anything so if you want to buy a house soon and you want to start saving for it if you're planning to get married you can put your wedding cost and how much you think you're gonna need anything like that and something different that I usually do that I did last year I did my yearly horoscope so I wrote it up for both Capricorn and my Chinese zodiac I kind of ticked off the things that happened I would say about 70% of whatever was in my horoscope actually came true I wrote down the 2021 as well uh, if you can't read my writing but we'll check that next year you might also know that I'm kind of into tarot as well so last year I did a past present future reading which also included the right now and also how to get there pretty accurate I guess and this year I've done slightly different I did the mind body and spirit reading which also comes with overall major arcana and I also pulled one more card which is basically one card to summarize 2020 so far it's looking bright so I'm happy this one was a little, little bit of a surprise I wrote down my Myers-Briggs test which is basically the 16 personalities why I wrote that down is because every single year I've done this for three years in a row and I always got the same which is ESFPT the entertainer it's just that the percentages changed a little bit but it was always the entertainer are about the entertainer so I did one again just last night surprisingly I'm now an ENFP a campaigner and when I look through the whole description of the campaigner it fits as well I don't know I'm a little confused but not I can't say I'm mad if you haven't gone to see your 16 personalities yet, I would definitely recommend it. It's quite insightful. Last but not least, I actually got a BMI test done a couple of days ago. I don't want to show you because it's embarrassing. But I did add on this page because this is something that I think I really need to work on this year. Like it's not, I guess it's a little bit more serious this year because it's not just about my weight it's about my health in general so I think I really need to be more serious about it this year so I've got a health and fitness page and I'm gonna write down my BMI score and my measurements every single month and my weight and hopefully reach our goal by the end of the year so let me know what you think about bullet journals have you tried one before which part of the bullet journal do you think will be the most fun to fill out which one you don't think you'll include in yours let me know down in the comments below if you like this video make sure to give it a like and also just let me know what you're looking forward to in the new year because 2020 is a big one it's the start of a new decade i feel like everybody's doing something new let me know what you think and while you're here you might as well subscribe the subscribe button is right there turn on those notifications and i will see you in the next video.